Good day, everyone. Thank you for being here with me. My name is Dr. Song from Yuanzhi Education. The so-called limitation is just your imagination. Yuanzhi Education is a non-profit organization to promote the global education and healthcare resource sharing. Our services aims to raise the awareness of inequality and education and healthcare to provide evidence-based data-driven solutions to those who are suffering from inequality regardless of their gender, race, ethnicity, age, or religion. I encourage you to check our website at yuan3chihyuanzi at edu.org or send us an inquiry. In working with our research team, our board decided to conduct this survey. We call it National Census of Equality and Equity of Chinese American Residents in the U.S. So we would like to collect the data regarding biased behaviors, discrimination, or hate crime experience of all the Chinese Americans in the United States. And there are more than 5 million Chinese Americans in the U.S. right now. We encourage you to finish this survey as soon as possible and also help your family members, friends, neighbors, and anyone you know to complete this survey, whether they have a yes or no experience. Whether you participate in this survey or not, you can request a follow-up report. We will be very happy to share the result with you and anyone. Our team are really good at data analysis, and we love to tell the story behind each data. We need your help to help us to get the accurate and updated data so that we can tell the true and real story behind the data. We would like to use the real and true data to promote evidence-based U.S. Chinese American equality and equity. I want to thank you for your help and your support. First. So in this survey, you will be able to choose your preferred writing system, either simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, or English. So let's say we choose English. We first ask if you have any of the experience, such as biased behavior, unequal treatment, discrimination, or hate crime. If the answer is yes, we will ask you a few additional questions, including the time, in the month and year format, and the location, for example, state and city. We also ask you the type of experience, such as age, disability, language barrier, national origin, race or color, sex and sexual orientation, etc. We also ask you to tell us the place or environment of experience, such as enter and use of public places, where you are doing banking, applying for credits or insurance policy, at shops or restaurants, at employment, workplace, etc. And we ask how many people were with you at that time and how many people were on the other side. And how serious would you rate this experience from not at all to very much a five-point scale? And what did you do with the experience? And you will have a chance to share your experience with us. And finally, we ask you a few additional demographic questions. And uh, if your answer to question one was no, that you did not have such experience, we still encourage you to finish the survey. For example, we will be able to compare with or without such experience in terms of their gender, age, and the zip code, for example, living area, so that we can know if there's any difference between people with or without the experience. So again, we need your help to provide us the true and real data so that we can tell a story behind the data.
if you have any comments, you will have a chance to write it here. And uh, if you would like to participate in our follow-up study, such as online interview, focus group, experience sharing, also please fill out your email or just send us an inquiry. We do not collect any personal information, so please feel free to fill out the data as truthfully as possible. And we ask you for each of your experience, you should fill out one form. That's for the data analysis purpose and uh, help your family or anybody you know to fill out a separate survey as well. If we get the data, we will be able to tell a true and real story to promote evidence-based solution. Thank you very much for your support. If you have any questions or comment, please contact us. Check our website and send us an email. I will list the contact below. Thank you very much for your time and support. Have a great day.